In this lesson, I'm going to be taking you through the two exam style questions for the education policy topic. We're going to be looking at a 10 marker, which will focus on the impacts of global uh, marketization. And then we will look at a 30 marker, which will uh, evaluate the uh, marketization and privatization policies in terms of equality of education. So we'll start off with the 10 mark with item. So just as a reminder to take you through the process of planning this question, the first thing we're going to do is deconstruct the question, making sure that we understand exactly what it is that we need to be doing and what we're being asked to do. We then identify possible answers. So what could we do just like we would with a 10 marker that doesn't have an item. Once we've got those possible item um, answers, we can look for the hooks in the items because remember, we can't find hooks if we don't know what we're looking for. And then I'll take you through a model paragraph. Now, just a reminder, again, you do need to write your own paragraph um, after you have completed the plan for the 10 marker. So we're going to deconstruct the question first of all. Now, with every 10 marker with item, we've got the same two command words, analyze and apply. And what that means is we have to use the item explicitly in our answer. And that means I'm looking for phrases such as the item says, the item indicates. I need to see the, the two words, the item. But it needs to be used appropriately. You can't just shove it in there and kind of go, yeah, I'll use the item. You need to use it appropriately and you need to use it accurately. And that's where the analysis comes in. How does this element of the item support your answer? How does it support your paragraph? So the topic is education policies, because that's the area we're looking at in education. And our focus is marketization policies and their impacts. So I'm not looking for you to tell to describe marketization to me. We're looking at the impact that marketization has had on the education system. The next step then is to identify possible answers. So we need to think about what the impacts of marketization policies might be on education. So we're not looking at identifying what the policies are. That's going to be part of our explanation. What we're looking for are how these policies have influenced and impact education. So, for example, we've got the more the fact that there is more parental choice. Parents can now choose um, the best school for their child. They have more choice over the type of education their child receives. And we've also got more competition between schools um, through policies such as league tables, Ofsted reports and uh, funding formula. All of these have created more competition between individual schools. So what we need to think about when we're thinking of our points is how has marketization impacted education, not what policies have has there been for marketization. So what I'd like you to do is pause the video here and see if you can come up with three more points or three more ways that marketization policies have impacted education. Our next stage then is once we've got our points is to find the hooks in the item. And what that means is looking at the item and seeing how you could link that into your answer um, that you've identified, the impact that you've identified. Now, not all five of the points that you've got will impact or uh, will link to the item, but at least two of them have to, because two of them, each paragraph, has to have a link to the item. So if we look at the item we've got here and we can see how it is that um, the item links to the two points that I have identified. So we can look at this one here, the, the um, more parental choice. Parents ha now have some choice in the school which uh, they send their children to. Ofsted and league tables help to find the best schools. So that sentence there 
can link to the fact that parents have more choice. Um, and we can also talk about competition between schools. We can link that to um, this bit here. Schools that produce better results would be popular with parents and students and pupils. So showing that there is competition between um, schools for pupils. So parents want to send their children to the best schools. So schools want to get good results. So again, I'd like to pause the video here and see how the points that you have identified will link into the item. So you've got to think, how is it that I can link these points in? You can use um, the elements of the item that I've already used um, and not all points will link to the item. So it's about finding which ones do. So pause the video here and see if you can link your points to the item. Yeah. So now we're on to looking at the paragraph and working and writing our paragraph in a way that the exam board want. So we use the system of identify, explain, link, and then our application goes where it fits. So it might be that it'd be part of your point or be part of your identification. It might be part of the explanation, but you put it where it fits. And I'm not looking for just a sentence that says the item says this. You need to incorporate it into your paragraph. You need to make it so that it flows. It's um, evidentiary. It's not just shoved in there, because if you just shove it in there, you're not showing analysis and therefore you won't get the higher marks. Yes, you'll get marks for that paragraph because you've used the item, but you need to incorporate it more fully into your answer. So if we look at my model paragraph here, um, I very clearly identified my impact. So I'm talking about more parental choice. So it has led to more choice for parents when it comes to choosing the school to send their child to. So that, that is my point. That is my identification. That's my point. I've then used the item here as the item shows marketization policies have included the introduction of league tables and Ofsted inspections, which help parents find the best choice of school for their child. Now, as you can see there, I have not um, quoted, I've paraphrased, I've incorporated the item into my explanation. It's all embedded, it's all linked together. So it's so it feels like it flows. I've then carried on my explanation with another policy. So along with open enrollment policy, which allows parents to apply to any state school, then my link. This shows marketization policies have created more choice in educate more parental choice. OK, so I've I've incorporated my item so that it feels more part of the paragraph. It doesn't feel like an add on. It feels it, it reads, it flows, it makes sense. OK, so your task now is to complete the rest of the plan, making sure you've got at least three more points that could be made. And one of those points must be linked to the item. And then I want you to write your own paragraph, but you can't use parental choice because I've already given you the model paragraph for that. So you need to come up with another point which links to the item to explain, uh, to answer the question, what are the impacts of marketization on education? So look, moving on now, we're going to look at the essay question. And as ever with an essay question, we're going to take you through completing the planning sheet um, step by step. So we're going to de deconstruct the question to make sure that we know what it is we're being asked and what it is that we need to talk about. We're going to identify which of the three types of context we need for this particular question and why. We'll then identify our content points. So what could be our arguments for and against? What are going to be the possible points that we could make? link those points to the item and again 
on your plan you need to highlight the item and show how you're linking it to your content points not all content points will link but those that do you do need to do so on your plan and then looking at how you decide your answer i am not going to tell you what your answer is you need to decide that for yourself so looking at deconstructing the question then when it comes to an essay question it's always the same two command words apply meaning use the item explicitly somewhere in your essay one paragraph has to have the item one paragraph without the item the other two your choice because some items will have lots of information you can use some will be less useful but at least one paragraph must utilize the item just like we did with the 10 marker and evaluate and when we talk about evaluation we are talking about looking at all possible arguments and coming to a reasoned conclusion based on sociological evidence so you have to decide which side of the fence you're going to be on you cannot sit on the fence you, fences barbed wire electrified non-fire you can't sit on it you have to decide one way or the other our topic is education policies because that's what we're looking at and our focus is marketization and privatization policies but looking specifically at whether or not they create greater equal inequality or not so our focus is about the impacts of these policies again so i'm not looking at you to, for you to describe marketization policies or privatization policies i'm looking for you to tell me about whether their impact has created more inequality or not and we know this is an argument essay because it's oh change that yeah um it says evaluate the claim so that tells us that it is an argument essay. So we need to say, look at reasons why it has caused in greater inequality and reasons why it hasn't and decide which way we're going to argue. So next we're looking at context. So context is showing the examiner the background, showing the examiner we know what we're talking about. And as we said before, there are three types of um, context. We've got background, we've got definition, and we've got trend. Now for this question, we are going to be um, using definition because we need to define privatization and marketization because a non-sociologist may not know what they mean. So our first two sentences of our introduction will define marketization and define privatization now just to be clear privatization does not mean creating more private schools it means bringing private businesses into the education system it might be privatization of education whereby we see business practices in the pro daily processes of schools or privatization in education where certain elements are um given uh, outsourced to private companies but we need to define marketization and privatization for this one so it's a definition context because they are key sociological terms that a non-sociologist possibly wouldn't know okay so identifying our points when we're identifying our points we are showing both four so marketization and privatization have led to increased educational inequality and against have not led to increased educational equality. So remember, you are finishing off this sentence. So you can't necessarily use a policy as a point. You can't say marketization and privatization have led to greater inequality because of open enrollment. The open enrollment is the policy. It's not the impact is not telling me why that has led to greater inequality. So, for example, we could say it has led to greater inequality because better schools end up with more funding. So here I'm linking to the funding formula and to league tables where schools that have more pupils receive more money. 
and it also I, and then on the other side marketization and privatization have not led to increased educational inequality because it has raised standards in all schools so by creating that competition Ofsted league tables things like that it's actually increased uh, a raised standards which has decreased inequality it's made the education system better for all students okay so pause the video here and you need to come up with at least three more reasons why it has created greater inequality and three reasons why it hasn't created inequality okay so remember you're finishing off that sentence three more endings to each side of the argument now that we have our content points we now need to link them to the item so again on your plan you need to be explicit and show how which of your points link to which elements of the item so if we take the two points that i mentioned previously so educational inequality because better schools end up with more funding and marketization hasn't led to increased inequality because it's raised standards in schools we we look at how we can link either of these two items uh these two points to the item so we can say um we can use where is it gone um yeah raised aimed at race standards by increasing parental choice and competition between schools and um we can use that for the against okay so the aim of marketization policies was to raise standards so we can show that we can link that in there um the point about um schools ending up with more funding we can't link that to the item it doesn't mean that we can't use it in our essay we can still use it in the essay but it doesn't link directly to the item so pause the video here and see which of the other points that you have identified can link to the item so see if you've got points for that could go into the item or points against into the item but make sure it is explicit on your plan which points link to the item and how and which don't do that by highlighting please so the final part of our plan is to um, decide on our answer and as i've said before i can't tell you what your answer is you have to do that and that's part of the evaluation and that's showing analysis skills that you have weighed up all of the evidence and you have come to a reasoned conclusion based upon the sociological evidence so for this question you have to decide has marketization and privatization policies created more inequality yes or no there's no in between it's yes or no and that is your decision you are either going to go yes it has created more inequality or no it hasn't created more inequality as ever you cannot sit on the fence the fence is barbed wire it's electrified and it's on fire you can't sit on it you have to be one side or the other so once you've decided on your answer we then get to our chain of reasoning conversation now this conversation is important because it helps you get that chain of reasoning it helps you get a line of argument and make sure that you stick to it it gives flow to your answer it shows analysis so you've got to there is a reason for doing this okay but as ever you work from the bottom up you don't start at the top you work at the bottom all four bubbles must be filled in this is a 30 mark question so all four bubbles must be filled in each set of bubbles is a paragraph so if you haven't got a fourth one you need to think of one you need to come up with one because three marks will not three bullet, uh, paragraphs will not get you into band five you must have four paragraphs remember the girls side is your answer to the question the boys side is the evaluation so whatever you are arguing if you are arguing greater inequality you're on the gut that's this your reasons are going to be on the girls side if you're arguing uh, not greater inequality 
then that's going to be the girl's side okay but do make it a sentence I've, I, having looked at some of your chains of reasoning some of you are doing it really well others are still just putting in a bullet point make it a conversation think of it like a comic strip that way you can see how it all flows and works together if you're having an argument with somebody you wouldn't just say i believe it has created greater inequality you wouldn't leave it at that you would you'd have to expand on that if you were having an actual argument with somebody and that's what this um activity is for so for example i believe marketization has led to greater inequality because the funding formula means good schools have more funding but have you considered that privatization policies such as business sponsored schools means that disadvantaged schools get a funding boost so it, it again it is create it's showing a conversation it's having a an argument it's not just randomly shoving down a bullet point okay so pause the video here and complete your chain of reasoning make it detailed make it a conversation So now we're going to put it all together so we're going to start with the introduction now i'm not going to give you a model introduction i'm going to tell you what you need to do for your introduction and then you need to do it okay now the reason i'm not going to give you a model is because every paragraph every essay has to have one and we've gone through um introductions lots of times so this is just a reminder of what your introduction needs to include so first of all we've got our context so we need to show the examiner we know what this question is about and then, as we've said earlier in the video that means we need to define marketization and privatization okay these are key sociological terms which a non-sociologist may not know so you have to define those terms for the examiner to show you know what you're talking about then you've got your content which is identifying some of the points for and some of the points against to show the examiner that you know both sides of the argument. Okay, so what are some of the ways that privatization and marketization have led to greater inequality and in what ways hasn't it? So you need to identify, not explain, just identify some of the reasons for and some of the reasons against. And then finally, you need to clearly state your answer can't be vague about it use the terms of the question make sure that you are explicit in answering this question because if you're not explicit the rest of your essay is going to be waffle because your examiner doesn't know what you're arguing they don't know what where you're coming from so you have to be explicit that way you'll, you won't waffle quite as much so do, do marketization policies create greater, greater inequality or not yes or no it's a binary answer so main body paragraphs now we've got to go over this a few times as well but we're going to go through it again just to make sure that everybody is clear so we're going to start off with our why why have you come to your answer what is the reason that you think marketization and privatization has led to greater inequality or the reason why you think it hasn't then explain it teach me convince me it's a persuasive essay a convincing uh, you've got to be convincing you can't just waffle and say vague statements you have to persuade me that you are right and you have the sociology to back it up so you this is where you're going to use the policies where you're going to talk about the impacts you're going to look at quality and inequality in education but you have to be convincing you are trying to persuade me okay then you're going to have your criticism so you're going to have to show the counter argument and this is the boys side of the chain of reasoning conversation and that's because there is no one answer so you can say but i am aware that this is not the perfect answer that there is a counter to it there is a reason why it's not the reason it creates greater inequality or the reason why it doesn't you you show that counter but remember your counter your evaluation is shorter 
than your explanation. If your evaluation is longer, it means that should have been your point. But your evaluation is shorter than your explanation. And then link it back, restate your answer. You want to ram that answer down the examiner's throat, make it clear at every opportunity, end of your introduction, beginning of each paragraph, end of each paragraph, this is my answer and this is what you need to remember. It also means that you stay on track and you keep stay, you stay with the answer that you've got. Your application comes in the form of sociologists, the item, examples, studies, etc. And every paragraph must have some form of application. It doesn't have to be the item. As we said before, the item can be used in one paragraph. The item mustn't be used in another paragraph. The other two, up to you. One paragraph with, one paragraph without, two paragraphs, whatever. OK, so here's my model paragraph. So get my highlight up. So I've said um, that marketization and privatization policies have created greater educational inequality. So you can see there I've used the terms of the question. I'm showing the examiner. I have answered the question you have set. I've not twisted it into a question that I want it to be. I've answered the question you have set. Um, because policies such as the funding formula mean that better schools end up with more funding than a school in deprived areas or is considered not as good. So I'm saying it has because of things like the funding formula. So then um, th this is because the funding formula. So I'm explaining here what the funding formula is and how it has led to greater inequality. So the funding formula means that schools that are oversubscribed get more money than those that are undersubscribed. This creates greater inequality as the undersubscribed schools will not be able to afford the best resources or teachers compared to the oversubscribed schools, further disadvantaging those students. OK, so all of that is my um, explanation. I've then got my evaluation. However, privatization policy of business sponsored schools means that undersubscribed schools can receive a funding boost from these businesses, which creates greater equality. And as you can see, my, my evaluation is shorter than my explanation, making it clear that, that, that it is the um, evaluation by using the term however. Finally, despite this policy, the majority of marketization and privatization policies is greater inequality as they favor higher achieving schools over disadvantaged schools. Now, my um, application here is the fact that I've applied oops, um, the funding. I'm talking about the funding formula. So that's application because I'm applying a specific policy to my argument. So that that equates to um, application. So there's not much application in there, but I've still got the application there. So your task now is to make sure that your plan is fully complete. So that's every box on the planning sheet and the chain of reasoning conversation is filled in. And that's all four bubbles on on the chain of reasoning that's completed. And then I want you to write your introduction and your first paragraph. But you cannot use the funding um, formula one that I've used in my model paragraph. You can't copy my paragraph. You've got to come up with one of your own.